How's it going, Vaqueros? And welcome back to the channel and happy new year. It is officially 2024. So here is to a great new year. And I hope you guys had an awesome time celebrating if you like to celebrate that sort of thing. So first off, we're gonna be talking about the Haymaker with slugs and explosive slugs. That's right, it's finally time to talk about the Origin 12 Reincarnate with slug rounds. So I'm gonna show you guys all the numbers and the damages. I'll show you guys a few different classes to use. And of course, share my thoughts overall. So if you wanna to hop to a certain part of the video, make sure to check the timestamps in the description below as I will have each part Part labeled in the description so make sure to check that out and with all that being said let's just go ahead and hop into it with explosive slugs first so these are the numbers I was able to find with explosive slugs and as you can see they have quite a bit of range and a lot of damage that they can potentially do up close and personal you can two shot headshot someone that's a lot of damage 162 is no joke but of course that's only point blank really out to three and a half meters basically not really practical but outside of that in its first drop off 16 meters you can three shot chest shot someone which is really nice for a shot shotgun again remember this is a shotgun and if you have one headshot one stomach and one chest you can three shot as well but generally it might take three to four shots in this range out past that generally it's going to be about a four shot kill and then past 58 meters i really wouldn't be using this thing there's a lot of reasons why but generally this is going to take about three to four shots in these ranges up close if you're using it well and hitting your shots and it has a ton of damage potential and just to remind you guys if it is a three shot kill the time to kill for this thing is about 480 milliseconds which is way fast that is incredibly fast and the range this thing has you can see why slugs and explosive slugs can be absolutely devastating in the right hands now when we switch over to regular 12 gauge slugs this is the damage profile for them as you can see they don't really have as much range as explosive slugs and in general their body shots tend to be a little bit less when it comes to damage but one thing that's nice about these is that the chest and stomach multipliers are the same so these even though they're a tiny bit weaker when it comes to body shots are a lot more consistent one thing to note is that in its first drop off out to 12 meters you can't actually three shot chest someone like you could with explosive slugs out to 16 meters that's kind of a bummer but as long as you hit one headshot all you need is two body shots and since you have the same multiplier for chest and stomach again it's going to feel a lot more consistent so as you can see these things deal a ton of damage just like explosive slugs but generally i've been liking 12 gauge slugs more than explosive slugs again more because of that consistency even though you lose some of the body damage by a slight bit it's more consistent because you're getting a little bit of a better stomach multiplier so it works out in your favor in most aspects and of course, I don't really recommend pushing this thing past 40 meters. You can if you're just kind of trolling or kind of going for laughs, but really wouldn't recommend it in a practical sense. But hey, being able to four shot someone with stomach shots out to 40 meters, that's definitely no joke. And in the right hands, you can see why these things are incredibly deadly. Now I'm going to share with you guys a class that you guys need to try because this is going to be a great one for close range that you need to try out. Now here is a build that I've had pretty decent success with. We're rocking the Imperator Long Barrel, the X10 Phantom 5, and the reason we're rocking this underbarrel is because it gives you a little bit of recoil control but it also helps our aim down sight speed so i'm rocking that instead of any of the stocks that give us aim down sight speed and hurt our recoil then we have the 12 round mag you can always swap that out if you don't want it or you can use the 20 round then we have the canted vibro.7 this is sort of a secret attachment i don't think a lot of people are going to catch on to and the reason why it's so good is because generally slugs tend to have a bit of inconsistencies when it comes to where they go if you're aiming at a wall you shoot you notice sometimes it's a little off now most guns have this sort of bloom effect but for slugs it's very pronounced but with the canted vibro.7 in particular this thing tends to eliminate so much of the spread it's kind of ridiculous if you take a look at this screenshot you'll see on the very far right that's with the canted vibro.7 and these are at 15 meters these are shots that were placed at 15 meters on the far left that is no bryson choke the middle that's with the bryson choke and then here on the right that's just the canted laser as you can see this thing can make a difference in where your shots go so i definitely Definitely encourage you guys to try it out even though it's a little weird aiming with the canted laser I totally get it it's totally worth it to get used to it and it keeps your sight picture and recoil a lot easier to maintain normally with the haymaker the recoil can be a bit of an issue especially if you're kitting it out for speed which this thing does not have speed it just is very slow generally no matter how you kit it out and it just tends to feel a little bit sluggish if you're kitting it out for recoil control so this is a happy medium I was able to find but of course if you want to swap these attachments out and go a more traditional route with a sight and stuff I would recommend recommend swapping out that laser for a sight taking out the long barrel and using a choke and then just using something like this and this is generally what I landed if I was going for a more traditional route it is a little bit slower if you want to use something that's more of an iron sight build you can also try this one out so there's a few different builds to rock but I would say try the first one out and see if you can get a hang of those canted laser slugs because in my opinion that's generally the way to go and also if you want to rock explosive slugs you totally can I just felt that they were a little bit harder to see when I was shooting my enemy and they felt a little bit more inconsistent than normal slugs 
slugs, but if you want to try it, if you really want to go for the 16 range three shot chest shot I was talking about, then totally just swap out the ammo type and they basically stay the same in terms of how they're built. As for my overall thoughts on slugs on this gun, they are damn solid. You can see that the damage potential is there. They have crazy range, but they are being let down by a few different reasons. First of all, the Haymaker, it's a challenging gun when you're kitting it out for slugs because no matter how you kit it out, the gun itself is always getting in your way. If you want better recoil, it's going to be slow as hell. So you can't really use it very well up close and personal with people jumping and sliding around. But on the other hand, if you kit it out for speed, the recoil is just too much and it's just kind of all over the place. The visual kick's really annoying. So that's why I landed on that canted vibro dot laser build because it just seems to be the best of both worlds and it has a sort of a good compromise between mobility and being snappy on the draw. So that's why I like that build. But overall, on paper, these things are definitely worth giving a shot. At least try them out, see if you like how they feel, but be warned, they are a little hard to use. I had a challenging time trying to get some gameplay with these, generally because I go in and I get deleted by a swarm. I'm trying to hit my shots and they're jumping around with a swarm and it just... It gets a little difficult at times, but once you get the practice down, once you get the hang of it a little bit, you'll start to see these things have some true potential. And who knows, it might just be a skill issue. These things may just click super well with you, but of course you have to give them a try. I would say try out that canted laser build first and then kind of mix and match your attachments as you see fit, depending if you want more recoil control or mobility. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, guys. Now I wanna know down below in the comments, as always, what are your thoughts on this gun with slugs? Are you actually really impressed with how they feel? Do you think they're really awkward and take some practicing or do you think that they're kind of just blatantly overpowered? And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video.